The affidavit linked to the FBI search of former President Trump's Florida estate will be released. A redacted version will give the Justice Department a chance to protect information sensitive to its investigation. CBS's Stephen Portnoy. Judge Bruce Reinhardt has unsealed one document that sheds new light on the FBI's investigation. The application for the search warrant has the FBI saying it is probing these three specific crimes. Willful retention of national defense information, concealment or removal of government records, and obstruction of a federal investigation. Deanna Schulman is an attorney for Dow Jones. Along with CBS, it's one of the media organizations pressing for the release. Judge Reinhardt seemed to have a very good sense that it is his job to perform his function of balancing the interest in the public of accessing these materials against the interest in the government in keeping them secret. Ukraine and Russia point fingers of blame, each accusing the other of shelling an area near Europe's largest nuclear plant. To prevent a possible disaster, CBS's Charlie Daggett reports the UN Secretary General is calling for a demilitarized zone inside that Russian-occupied territory. Both sides issue ominous warnings of an attack today. Ukrainian officials say Russia plans to stage a false flag incident and blame Ukraine, just hours after Russia accused Ukraine of trying to stage an accident there. The threats are time to coincide with a visit to the country by UN Chief Antonio Guterres. Any potential damage to Zaporizhia is suicide. President Zelensky demanding an immediate and unconditional withdrawal. Russia must stop all provocations and certainly all shelling, he said. We cannot allow Russia to deliberately put us all on the edge of a radiation catastrophe. Federal officials are boosting monkeypox vaccine supplies. CBS's Tanya Rivero in New York says it comes as case numbers are rising. 20-year-old Edward O'Keefe finally received his first dose. There weren't any appointments available, and so I found that pretty frustrating. The White House says an additional 1.8 million doses of the monkeypox vaccine will be available starting Monday, as cases of monkeypox are up over 30% from just a week ago. Border officials say a truck with 150 migrants was seized in Mexico just before it could cross into Texas. A record number of migrants have been apprehended so far this year. CBS's Manuel Bajorquez. Walking along the southern border with Maverick County Deputy Sheriff Denise Cantu, migrant crossings show no sign of stopping. They even have a sign for them where it says, Sigan the Camino. They pretty much guide them. The sign means follow the path, and Deputy Cantu says it's evidence of just how normal border crossings have become. Law enforcement has already tallied more than 1.9 million migrant encounters this fiscal year, breaking the record set last year with two months left to go. Venezuelan Angie Cordero and her 10-year-old daughter know what they left behind. No hunger, no jobs, no trabajo, but they don't know what lies ahead. At least two of three people aboard two small planes were killed when they collided yesterday while trying to land at an airport in Watsonville, California. It was chaos at a terminal at San Diego's airport. Up to 7,000 passengers had to be re-screened. We boarded our flight, and then nobody else came on, and we're like, what the heck? And then we had to deplane to come out here. A breach involving an unscreened piece of luggage caused the situation. Four minutes after the hour, this hour's newscast. That's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that heavy jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.